Berry. I'm the head football coach here at Benedict College. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Welcome, Benedict Cop. It's a great day to be a Titan. Welcome back. It's another edition of the Coach Chennis Berry Show. Coach Chennis Berry, we're going to talk about him and all the accolades coming up. My name is Curtis Wilson, official voice of the Benedict College Tigers. And man, I got to tell you, it's good to be back, Coach. Man, listen, man, it's a great, great day to be a Tiger, man. Thanks for uh, joining us again and for another year, man. This is going to be an exciting year. Let's get ready to go 1-0 and each and every day. 1-0 every single day, and this guy has done it with an amazing team. We got a wall of first up there, and I got to tell you, I'm looking at, you know, first Eastern Division title, first conference title. For, you know what? D listen, Coach, I got you here. I'm going to let you talk about all this stuff. But first off, I want to welcome you to Season 3 of the Coach Chennis Berry Show. And with great power comes great responsibility and also great sponsors, too. Absolutely. We got Absolutely. some great sponsors on board. Very, very, very grateful for each and every one of them. Listen, for the sponsor of this show, the Coach Chennis Berry Show, we want to give big, big shouts to South Point Roofing and Restoration. Thank you so much for being a part of this and, and coming on board. We thank you for that. And then we're also bringing back Lexington Medical Center. Mm -hmm. They were very important uh, in our past season, and they're back again uh, to do things with us. Now we have some new sponsors, too, that we want to give big shouts to, like Goodwill and the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. And they're going to be doing some great things during the game. Yes, they so are. Uh, whenever you need to fly, you got to Fly CAE, baby, all right? They're part of BC, BC. And also, too, we want to say thank you to our uh, Founders Federal Credit Union for coming on board to be a primary sponsor of the Benedict College Athletic Department. So they got everybody covered right mm -hmm. there. And also Prisma Health is back as well. They've been longtime sponsors long of sponsor. BC football Absolutely. and BC athletics, too. So we give big shouts uh, the, to them, too. And then South Carolina Education Lottery. We got to play. But when you play, you got to play responsibly. Don't go all out. Playing all your money for rent and mortgage and your food and the whole nine. I was like, baby, baby, I did it again. There you go. There you <laughs> Sorry go. about that. But listen, here we go. An exciting time for football and an exciting time for Benedict College football fans. You guys have had, like I said, an amazing season. Mm -hmm. But as you always say, Coach, it's 1-0 and oh every single time. And that's what you're looking forward to doing. Absolutely. That, that won't ever change, man. You know, our guys are focused and locked in on the 2023 season. Mm -hmm. 2022 season was amazing. No doubt about it, but uh, you know our guys are locked in on what's important now. Winning the day and winning the day means what's important now, and now is right now. Getting ready for the 2023 season. You know, I've been checking out the social media aspect of what BC has been doing with the players and the mm -hmm. weight room and just the, the camaraderie between the guys. It looks like you still have that same team moving forward. That's what I love about this. We do, we do. We have a lot of the guys returning from from last season, mm -hmm. and they've set the foundation. But we got some newcomers coming in that we're right. super excited about. That I'll get a chance to talk about a little bit later, man. But, you know, those guys are locked in. They're mm -hmm. focused on, on right now and, uh, you know, just trying to win the day. And we, if we can focus on putting positive days together and then putting positive weeks together and then putting positive months together, in the end, it'll be a positive year. No doubt about it. Coach, I know it's a new season in the whole nine mm -hmm. but we still got to talk about what you guys were able to accomplish in the 2022-23 season. And we're talking about a first in SIAC uh, championship in school history. Not only that, Division II HBCU national champions. Then you went undefeated during the regular season, which was so cool, and then nationally ranked for the first time in school history. All those accolades I know have to mean something to you and all those plays that were a part of it. You know, what a great year. I mean, you can't take it away. I mean, that's monumental. This is year 29 I'm going into in the college coaching profession, and it's never happened before. So that's not something that happens all the time. So what a historical year. Very, very blessed and grateful for the year that we had. Uh, just, just an awesome season. And we'll never, ever, ever, ever take that away. But the young men are so locked in it now and getting ready for the 2023 season. But, you know, with that all being said, man, you know, you know, a lot of things happen in the offseason. You know, we were able to uh, go to the State House first mm -hmm. time as a program. We were able to get a street signs in the city of Columbia, which has been so welcoming to us in our program. Uh, you know, the street signs all throughout the city just, you know, honoring our championship year. And then we also just, just so many accolades for our players and our coaches. And, and, you know, what a great year, man. But I tell you what, man, we're grateful for the supporters. I'm about attitude and gratitude, man. And I want to I wanna present something to you right now, man. Really? You know, it's something that I, 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 I'm, I've been waiting to do, man, and I want to do it at the right time. But, man, thank you for your support <laughs> and what you do 
for our program, man, and, and your support in our program. So we're going to put this 2022 season to bed and get ready for 2023. But I wanted to present you with your 2022 <laughs> SIC You got to get a good shot of that one right oh, there. Absolutely. Listen, this is amazing. I'm totally honored to be able to pick up a championship ring with the team using my voice. <clears throat> that was a lot of hard work, Coach. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Appreciate I was like, you. put me in, Coach. This is awesome. Thank you so much. God man. bless you, man. Thanks God for bless all you. Do. Thank you so much as well. Oh, yeah. Let me see how I look on your hand. Maybe, hand, I, maybe I can do the rest of the show oh, yeah. with there my you big go. ring on. You oh, know, yeah. my, Oh, oh yeah. this, this fits really well. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. I, I did it just right. <laughs> that's awesome. nice, Coach. Awesome. That's really awesome. Man, thank that's really nice. Thank you for your support and all you do, man. Thank you, Coach. God bless you. I appreciate you. God bless you as well. Now I'll see if I can get my composure back. You know, little tears coming out. Try to do this <clears> the <throat> rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so listen, we've got to give big shouts to uh, Mayor Daniel Rickerman and also the council members for uh, doing a proclamation and also putting the signs up, like you said, honoring uh, the Benedict College football team and you guys uh, for accomplishments to, that are well-deserving. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the whole entire city of Columbia and your support, the whole campus community, Benedict College campus. Mm -hmm. They're all bought in on Go Tires, our administration, Dr. Artis and all the, her team and her administrative staff, as well as Coach Washington and all that he do. So we're very, very grateful for all the people that have poured into our program. Right. It's been a great, it was an amazing year, a lot of excitement in the season. And I just want to thank, thank those people for all of their efforts. But we're getting ready for a new season, a new day. It's a new day, and we're getting ready to go 1-0 each and every day. And then we'll see what it looks like when it's all said and done in the end. Your trip begins now. Your trip is your story. And all the best stories begin right here, at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Whether you travel for business or pleasure, we design CAE to maximize your comfort. Maybe your trip is one of discovery, reunion, or time to close the deal. Wherever your trip ends, it all begins right here, the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Fly with ease. Welcome in the athletic director here at Benedict College. Long time, as a matter of fact, uh, he's been here for 35 years and he was a, a player, coach, then athletic director in all those years. Of course, he's been, you know, pushing to get football back in 1995. You made that happen. And uh, that's the first time I actually became affiliated with Benedict College football as well. So I want to thank you for bringing me on board. But tell us about the changes and everything that you've seen over the years, especially this last season. Well, I would have to look way back, mm -hmm. way back. But I tell you, when I think about last season and I, and I think about where we actually started from, mm -hmm. no facilities, no idea that one day we would have what we have now, but only because of the grace of God. Amen. And the helping of so many strong administrators uh, to where we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, our president, Dr. Rosalind Clark Artis, who's very supportive of not just football, but all of our programs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been very successful to move forward and you know we we look around now and we're the SIC champions mm -hmm. we're the uh, HBCU division 2 champions mm -hmm. we went on to the NCAAs there's a lot of firsts that happened this past year but we're very proud more so of their academic achievement within the football mm -hmm. uh, sports it's not just about playing sports no because uh, it, it's more so about the coach mm -hmm. The coach is a dynamic young man who's got a great future in the area of sports. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter, he's a great coach, mm -hmm. but he's got so many other talents mm -hmm. that, that, that just transcend over, and it, and, and it leaks on into the players. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see our team travel, Everybody talks away, talk about how they travel and how they look and how they carry themselves and how discipline. I get calls from around the country when they're traveling yeah. saying, is that your team? Yes. Well, I just want to call and let you know that they were very presentable. They were very respectful. Mm -hmm. And this is what, because in life, you got to have other qualities other than just the ability mm -hmm. to play the sport. Yeah. So we're very proud of the entire coaching staff, our, our head coach, um, uh, Coach Barry, mm -hmm. Chen is very outstanding young man, yeah. and he works hard. They put in the effort, so they're deserving of all the accolades and anything that's said about this program. 
you know, when you talk about the players and, and the different sports that you have at Benedict College, had the opportunity to be one of the MCs, host of the Athletics Awards Banquet. And when you did it for the GPAs, that was such a big part of the night to see so many players receive awards for their academic achievement in school. That says a whole bunch about your coaches that you have and, of course, the school itself. Well, without a doubt, uh, student athletes, mm -hmm. they're student first. Mm -hmm. So academics is first top on the line for right. us. And we've been uh, working towards the goal where we are now, and we still got a way to go. Mm -hmm. But we understand that, and we, we work from the premise that the harder you work, the more effort you put in, the, you know, and you spend your time and you're very respectful, mm -hmm. things will, things, good things will happen, yeah. just like this past year. Now we look forward to another year, quite naturally. And you know, there's an old, that was an old movie out there. If you build it, they will come. Yes. Well, we built this program. Mm -hmm. We built it from starting with not a football on the campus. Yeah. Now we're the champions. So hopefully on uh, this coming Saturday night, uh, the uh, Labor Day Classic that we were playing, we call it the Carolinas mm -hmm. Classic, we'll fill the stadiums. Yeah. The, the, the community will come out and show their support for this program mm -hmm. and show that, if, if th make that statement true. Yeah. And w we just have an outstanding facility for them to come out and sit and enjoy. It's a family type environment. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're telling everybody, come on out. We have room for you. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you talk about the Carolines Classic, you're going to be playing Shore University. I know a lot of folks in the buzz in the air because Benedict is now playing so well. Will it ever be South Carolina State, Benedict? That's all, a question that people want to know. Well, all things are possible. <laughs> so without a doubt, I'm going to stay in the middle of the road. We played them before. So it's, it's not out of the question. Mm -hmm. So it, it, that, that, that's a possibility. Yeah. One day we will rekindle that relationship and, and, and move from there. I remember when you talked about football and not having football on campus, played at a high school field. We had maybe 12 members of the Benedict College Marching Band of Distinction. Now they've grown. It's just this facility, this, uh, uh, faci this, this academic university is just growing and growing and growing. What's next? Tell me. I know you got something up your sleeves. Well, we have actually 15 sports now. Mm -hmm. Possibility of adding on some more sports. Mm -hmm. uh, possibility of just continuing to grow the, the sports that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, when we start every year, we start every year hoping that all of our teams will be champions. Right. And we've been, uh, I would think, uh, we've had the opportunity to win what you call the Commissioner Cups. Okay. And we won those uh, the past couple of years. And then I think we will, if you just check the record, and I know people will fact check whatever I say, I think we've won more Commissioner's Cups than any other school in the conference. I know That's present, a lot. present day. Well, we enjoy being there, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good, it's a good place to right, be. Right. But my 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 uh, my request or my plea to the community is come out and see the young men mm -hmm. play because they actually deserve a good crowd. Everyone cheering for them, mm -hmm. pulling for them, especially in our home state right. and in our home stadium. What's so we're hoping that we'll get that. And since you're saying that and you're here, let's tell them how they can get tickets, the game time, all of that good stuff that they need to know. Well, actually, the game will be this coming Saturday, 6 p.m., Charlie W. Johnson Stadium. We play Shaw University. You can go online or you can purchase them uh, from our ticket office located at 2317 Laurel Street. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep the light on. Just <laughs> tell me what we need to do in order to sell those tickets, and we'll make certain that you have an enjoyable time when you're there. But before I go, mm -hmm. I, I, I wore this shirt tonight. Can you just read what it says? Benedict College Athletic Hall of Fame. And we want to welcome you <laughs> as one of the newest members coming into the Hall of Fame this year. Thank you, you much, Coach. You started with us, mm -hmm. and we appreciate yeah. having you there. And we, you know, the thing about it, Curtis, we go back so far. Mm -hmm. you, you, but you weren't just the voice of the Tigers, mm -hmm. but you supported the Tigers mm -hmm. with your with your funds, mm -hmm. with your effort, yeah. talking to the groups, the, speak, the young mm -hmm. people, and I don't know. The listeners might not understand this. You were the person of the year, the student of the year when you left oh, here. Oh, yeah. That's, that's I mean, true. so all A's. <laughs> so quite naturally, that's another key. Mm -hmm. You surround yourself with good mm -hmm. individuals, good people, and good things will happen. All right. This is, I'm done. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Appreciate I appreciate it. you for believing in me to bring me on board <laughs> to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful organization and now working with a wonderful, wonderful coach in Chennis Berry as well. Thank you. All right. Back with more right after this. 
At Lexington Medical Center, we want you to lead a long and healthy life, and we're here to help you do just that. Our experienced team of healthcare professionals wants nothing more than to help make you well again. Take good care of yourself, and remember, we're here for you whenever you need us. If you don't already have a doctor or you're looking for a new one, choose from more than 70 physician practices at Lexington Medical Center. We wish you a lifetime of good health and happiness. Be well. Life moves fast, and while you're raising future MVPs, it's good to know you've got a teammate with Founders, a partner you can trust to always have your back with products and services that give you the freedom to focus on the more important things. While you're sharing those moments, remember, we're here for one single reason, to help grow your financial success. So when the game is done, you can relax, because at Founders, our most valuable player is you. Welcome back to the Coach Chettis Berry Show. I am Curtis Wilson. So glad you're joining us as we get set for another exciting season of Benedict College Football Tiger Baby. Did I say that right? Said it great, man. There you go. <laughs> so listen, Coach, we're glad to be back to do this thing again. I got to talk about preseason. I've been, like I said, I've been watching you guys uh, on social media, working out really hard in the whole nine yards. Tell me, in your perspective, in your words, how do you think preseason has been going? Well, the number one goal for all head coaches across the country is to come out of preseason healthy. Right. And we're a healthy football team right now, and that's, that's extremely important. And it's the way we practice. We practice full speed. We get out there, but we make sure we take care of each other, mm -hmm. take care of our teammates, no cheap shots on our teammates right. and things of that nature. But, you know, preseason's been going well. We just wrapped up training camp. Um, we have our four weeks to get out there and get better as a football team. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys are really, really coming together. You know, when you look at it all, you know, we've been in camp, uh, I, I would say, um, for about 23 practices. Now we're into game week and we're getting ready to get ourselves focused on on uh, Shaw University who's be coming in here for week one. But I think our young men have been really chopping at the bit. They've been doing a really good job and, 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 and just coming together as a team. You know, mm -hmm. the foundation of the team is pretty much back. You know, you're talking about returning about 70 players from last uh, season. And, uh, you know, we, we have some newcomers that we're super excited about. Mm -hmm. So I really like where we are as a football team. And I think we got a chance to have a have a really good football team again in 2023. All right, well, I'm glad to hear that too. And I think South Point Roofing and Restoration is also glad to hear that as well as one of the premier sponsors of Benedict College Football Absolutely. and what we're doing here on the show. Mm -hmm. With that being said, tell me who's back. Well, let's start on the defense side of the ball. Okay. You know, I'll tell you what, it's got to be led by our staff first. Our staff is intact from defense okay, from last good year. So all four of the coaches that coached last year's team, uh, team with our defense, top 10 in the country in total defense, they're all back. And then when you have to start, when you talk about defense, you got to start talking about the guys up front. Mm -hmm. So returning is uh, defense player of the year. You know, he brings a smile on my face every time I think about him. But Luber, Luber's Loop. Luber, Luber, Luber's a really good football player, but he's a really good person. He's great in the weight room. He's a great student. Uh, he's just a great, just a great person in general. Mm -hmm. And uh, he makes us better. You know, yeah. he makes us go up front. So he's had a great training camp, and uh, we're excited for a great year from him. But we also have to talk about Jaden Broughton. He's another preseason all-conference guy, you know, a guy that can really rush the passer and really stop the run. So, you know, he'll be wearing a different jersey number this year, but we expect a big time here from, from uh, JB. We call him JB, man. We're super excited about him. Also, Aaron Miller. Aaron Miller's another preseason all-conference guy who's uh, returning from last season, and he really did a lot of great things with our defense last year. And then the big guy, big John Hannibal, right here from Columbia, South Carolina, you know, he's a 300-pound man in the middle, but he's quicker than a hiccup. And, uh, you know, he's a really, really good football player. And those are the guys mainly up front that mm -hmm. are returning. And then our linebackers, all of them are returning. We didn't wow. lose a linebacker from last year. The defense year. is going to be stout. Oh, yeah. They, those guys have really been growing and getting better. You know, we really have about eight linebackers that really can play mm -hmm. uh, and really make some things happen. We have a total of about 10 to 12 linebackers, but those linebackers have really been doing good, led by Amari Pettis. He's mm -hmm. our starting Mike Backer. Uh, returning started from last year. He's doing okay. an awesome job. And uh, Dedrick Starks from right here in Columbia, <laughs> South Carolina as well. He's back. He'll be wearing a different jersey number, but we're super excited about those guys as starters. But mm -hmm. we also have CJ. CJ's doing an awesome job. CJ Swan is his name. He's doing an awesome job with us, as well as some other guys that have been really coming along. We have a young man that, that has, has really showed and proved, man, that we're, 
we're super excited about him, and his name is Theo Blackburn. Okay. Theo Blackburn is fast, he's quick, he can run, he can make tackles, and we're super excited about our whole entire linebacker core. And then you talk about the back end that's coming back from last year. You have to start off with Jerron Kilpatrick, mm -hmm. uh, number zero, and uh, we call him Donut, man. Donut, uh, KP has done a great, great job. He's had an amazing camp. He's really been getting after it. You know, he plays our nickel, but he can play a variety of different things in the back end. And, and we really feel wholeheartedly. We have a corner named Joshua Hayward. He'll be in this senior year last season, and uh, he's been in this program for a while. But I think truly that he's an NFL prospect. He's a 6'2 corner, 205, 210 pounds. He's, he's built like you want him to look, and he can run, and he can hit, and he's a really, really good football player. He's been in our defense for a couple of years. And then Day Day, Nathan Peterson uh, played a lot at nickel last year for us. But we moved him over to Rover, and he's doing an awesome job in the back end as well. So, you know, those are guys returning from last year. We moved a young man by the name of Diego Addison from corner to free, and he's having a great camp. I mean, he's probably having one of the better camps of anybody we're having. Mm -hmm. So on that defensive side of the ball, I feel really, really strong. That we were really good, top ten in the country in total defense last year. Uh, I think we finished number seven. But we got a chance to be better with some mm -hmm. of the people that we added on defense. So I'm really excited about those guys. It always starts with the big guys up front. Absolutely. So on the defensive side of the ball, I feel really, really good. Well, let's flip it. Let's go to the other side. Offense, who's coming back? Tell you what, on offense, got to start again with the big boys up front. <laughs> so we have an offensive lineman named Roger Smith. I mean, we feel like he's an All-American kind of guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can play tackle. He can play guard. We call him Big Baby. He's a, he's a, <laughs> he was a freshman last year starting. He's yeah. a preseason All-Conference guy. But he's also, he's now a sophomore. He's big. He's 325 pounds, 6'4". And he's a really, really good football player. Then our starting center's returning, Mitch Romick, from last year. So he's coming back, and he's ready to rock and roll. And another young man who played a lot for us last year, Nazir Austin Daniels. He's a twin. We call him twin, man, but he's having a great camp as well. So, you know, a lot of those guys are returning. And then we also have a couple other young men that play a lot for us. Anthony Crawley played right tackle for us uh, two years ago, but he's back. He had a little... Injury, a little minor setbacks last year, but he's back. He's healthy. He's ready to go. And Shaman Price, right here from Dutch Fork High School. Okay. You know, he won a lot of state championships as a player, and now he's all the way healthy. He's, his mindset is in the right place. So we have an offensive line that uh, we're, we're really excited, mm -hmm. excited about, and I think that we got a chance to be good up front mm -hmm. uh, with some other guys that we added into the fold. And then uh, also you have to go to our running backs, man. You're talking about Thunder and Lightning. They're yeah. back. Thunder and Lightning, these guys are both about 215, 220 pounds, starting with uh, Zaire Scotland. Zaire Scotland has really changed his body. He's looking the part. He's having a great training camp. He's healthy. He's ready to go, and he's first team preseason all SIC, and he can, he can dot the I and cross the T's, guys. He, I mean, he can, he can make it happen, but do hard. Duhart, DeAndre Duhart is another exciting running back. He'll be wearing jersey number 21. He's having a great camp. He's healthy. He's ready to go. He's a hard runner. And he's a really, really good football player. And he's been in our offense for a couple of years now, so he knows what to do and how to do it. And um, I tell you, it was a young man that we moved to running back. He was a slot receiver last year. And he's probably, he won the Impact Player of Training Camp Award. His name mm. is Izzy Rhodes. Okay. And you're talking about lightning in a bottle. You're talking about a guy that when you put the ball in his hand, he can score at any moment. So mm -hmm. we're super excited about, you know, we got thunder and lightning, then we got a chance to got a guy that can come out and, and really change the mm -hmm. trajectory of the game because of the way you can put the ball in his hands in different spots on the field, and he can make plays at any time. And then wide receiver, you know, you're talking about some guys that return. Reggie Harden, who was a guy that we got last year to transfer from Florida State last year, so mm -hmm. he played with us uh, this past season. But I, I believe he led the nation in yards per catch, so he mm -hmm. can really stretch the field vertically. We have him. We have Jabari Tucker, who was returning from last season. We also have a couple young men that are really Billy Pierre, who's done a great job. Steve Campbell's coming back. Also, we have a young man by the name of Damon Cherry. He's coming back. So we're returning probably about six or seven receivers from last year. And we have a really, really big one, a big 6'6 six, six one. Mm -hmm. uh, he, I mean, I'll tell you what, he is, he is really, he's from Dutch Fork High School. And, uh, you know, he's doing an amazing job of just stretching the field vertically. He's long. He's a red zone uh, terror. His name is Nick Soul, and he's doing an awesome job for as well. Now, we'll get to the transfers in a minute and the receiver, and I'm really just focusing on the returners. But this is a receiver that I want to talk about a little bit later that's coming in. <laughs> We're expecting him to be amazing. And in our tight end room, uh, our tight ends are coming back. And another young man from right here in Columbia, South Carolina, who's having a great camp. His name is Rashad McCain. He's on our leadership council. Uh, he's, he's, he's having an awesome 
training camp as well as Big Tight. We call him Big Tight. His name is Anderson Aldridge. He's from up in the Rock Hill area, mm -hmm. Northwestern High School. Amazing camp as well. So when you really look at our guys that are returning, you know, on offense, we're super excited. And then we have Zay Foster. Mm -hmm. Zay Foster has been in the offense for two years. He is uh, right now. He's the backup uh, at quarterback, and uh, he's having a great camp because obviously he knows the offense, so he's been in it for a while. So those are just some of the guys returning mm -hmm. on, on offense and defense, and then on special teams are starting uh, long snapper. Uh, he he he. You talking about Dylan Geese, who's been in our program for a while. He's one of the best long snappers out there. So when you talk about our football team, those are the guys we're going to focus on in terms of returning yeah. from last season's team. And Curtis. Before I, you know, throw it back to you, man, I want to talk about my coaches, man, and my, especially on my offensive side of the ball. So I'm super excited about those young men as well. And first, I have to start with my offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. You know, you know they say, man, in life, man, you, people come across your life and across your timeline for a reason, a season, a lifetime. And I met this young man uh, at the Legacy Bowl this past year. You know, uh, us as a coaching staff, we were able to go to uh, New Orleans and coach in the Legacy Bowl, and what a great time that was. But while we were there on the team I was on, on Team Eddie Robinson, met a young man by the name of Jonathan Williams. And uh, it was so ironic, never even planned it. Uh, I ended up having my offensive coordinator, Kevin Saxton, from last year, end up getting a job uh, with the NFL with, um, and, and, and with the Kansas City Chiefs. So again, I had an opportunity that came about, and uh, this young man, Jonathan Williams, man. And it's crazy because I saw him play as a player, when I coached at Southern, he was a starting quarterback at Gramlin State University, which is a big time rival for us, but we were able to get him to come to Benedict College as our offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. And I'll tell you what, some of the things he bought with him from Southern University, some of the things that they were doing, explosive plays offensively, man, we were able to add them to what we do offensively, man. So we're super excited about Jonathan Williams. And we have two new O-line coaches as well. You know, my O-line coach uh, by the name of Jeremiah Abbey played for me at Southern University. He's been coaching high school football in Atlanta. He knows our offense. He knows all the things that we do and what we're trying to do. And we also have a young man by the name of Jer uh, I'm sorry, Jalen Brinson. Jalen Brinson is a young man who coaches our tackles and tight ends. And uh, Jeremiah Abbey coaches the uh, centers and guards. So I really have two O-line coaches that I'm super excited about. And we have a, a new running back coach. He played for us, actually, in this program. His name is Davon Smith. He's doing an awesome job with that stable of running backs he has. And we also have Coach Connor Loper coming back from last season. So, you know, what a great staff. Super excited about those guys. I mean, when you look at our whole entire staff in general, I touched overall about the entire defensive staff remaining intact. But I want to touch, touch on those young men because uh, they do a great job uh, doing our great job with our defense. And that started with Jordan O'Daffer, man. And this is a young man who's got a bright future. He does a great job with the defense, organ, organizing and making sure those guys are playing at a high level. And then I have to go to Kevin King. Kevin King's our special team coordinator as well as our safeties coach. He does an amazing job. He's got complete buy-in. And when you're talking about special team coordinator, that's kind of like the head coach because he's in front of the offense, defense, and special teams, and uh, he does a great job with our, with our defensive backs, especially the safeties as well as our special teams. And then you have a young man where it all starts up front, Gary Howard. Gary Howard is back for another year. I mean, he has that D-line playing at an all-time level. I mean, those guys play hard. They play several guys, so you got to prepare for a lot of them. He's coached. Uh, the defensive player of the year in our conference, so we're super excited of him. And then we have a young man that rounds it off by the name of Michael Stiles. Michael Stiles is our corners coach. He's a former defensive coordinator. He does a great job with those guys on the back end. So we're super excited about whole, my whole entire staff, and we look forward to coaching our young men every day to be better every day by going 1% and winning the day. You know, it sounds like you got, a, a, again, a pretty great returning class of players that's going to be coming in. But being the champs, I guess recruiting was not a difficult task this time around either. Recruiting was fun. You know, that's the bloodline of any program. Uh, um, you know, we got out and beat the bushes. We have a gas tank philosophy, meaning basically we go fill up our rental cars, you know, within a four to five hour radius. We're going to hit them all. And we're going to start in this great Palmetto state of the state of South Carolina. We're going to. We're going to beat the bushes and build relationships. And, mm -hmm. You know, when we go out, guys know about Benedict now. We yeah. go out and recruit, and, and then we get people on our campus. And this year, we were able to have this summer the 803 uh, Coach Berry uh, Showcase, which is a, 
which is a camp that we have, which is a mega camp, but we had over 450 kids come right here on campus. So people know about Benedict now. We're grateful for that, to be able to get them on our campus. And again, recruiting is the bloodline, not just recruiting for our program, mm -hmm. but recruiting for the school, right. the whole entire college, because that's important as well. We know that most of us are enrollment driven, and we want to make sure that we get people in in, in our in our buildings and in our classrooms. And, and it's not just about football. It's about the whole entire campus community. And I think we're doing our part to try to make sure we do that. Because when we go to these different schools mm -hmm. throughout the country, especially in the state of South Carolina, we're going to not only go to the football office, we're going to go to the counselor's office and leave pamphlets about how can you get into Benedict College as a regular mm -hmm. student as well. So recruiting has been great. We went out and really beat the bushes. We pretty much focus in the state of South Carolina. We'll tap into Georgia a little bit. We'll definitely get into Florida because we got some coaches from the mm -hmm. state of Florida. And we believe in those three states. I mean, we can really get oh, some pretty good football up. players. You're talking so. about SEC. Come on. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we really built in that. But we actually touched into North Carolina this past yeah. year. And we got some pretty good football players mm -hmm. from North Carolina as well. So, you know, in the, in the general uh, perspective of it all, man, we, we have some really good talent in this area. So we want to make sure that the recruiting stays important, first and foremost, in our mind. And our philosophy in this program, we're going to recruit them first and foremost. Okay. Then we got to retain them. Mm -hmm. Then we got to develop them. And I'm talking talk, not talking about just on the football field, but holistic development. Mm -hmm. And then we got to graduate them. And I think our staff have really done a good job of doing those four things. That is great. Anybody you want to talk about in particular that you recruited? <laughs> Well, I got quite a few, quite a few, uh, some guys that have really been having great training camps. We'll start on the offensive side of the ball. You know, I, I tell you what, when, when, you, when you build a program, you got to have a good quarterback. Mm -hmm. And a young man by the name of Aeneas Dennis, who, who won the starting job in training camp, he was the starter this last two years at Shorter University. Mm -hmm. He's from Georgia. He's in his grad year. And, uh, you know, he played in the, uh, what they call them, Division II SEC. You know, mm -hmm. when you're talking about – you know, you're talking about West Georgia, you're talking about Valdosta State, you're talking about West Florida. These are perennial powerhouses mm -hmm. in Division II. And he was a two-year starter, threw a lot of touchdowns, threw for a lot of yards, and he has amazing arm talent. I mean, he can make every throw. He has great command. The speed of the game won't be different for him because he played against really good speed in that conference. So he's really bought into our offense. He's okay. learning what to do. He's still got some things to learn, but he's doing a great job. And what he does is, you know, be able to pass that football. And I don't use the term throw. You know, some people use the term, oh, he can throw the ball 90 yards. That means absolutely nothing to me. Mm -hmm. How accurate you are, how you manage the offense, what kind of passer you are, can mm -hmm. you put the ball on the spot? And those are the things that he can do. And he mm -hmm. throws it on time. And I think he has a really good job, really good chance to have an amazing year for us because he got enough pieces of the puzzle around him. And then if you go to the, the receiver room, the guy, young man I wanted to talk about, earlier. <laughs> I tell you what, this young man has really been setting it on fire. He transferred to us from Presbyterian and um, Jalen Jones is his name. And he is a really, really good football player. He runs amazing routes. He's talented. He can stretch the field vertically. He can beat you horizontally. And we're really excited about him. Young man by the name of Caden High. Caden High from Atlanta, Georgia. Grayson High School, which is a powerhouse mm -hmm. in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, this young man has had an amazing training camp. I mean, he's made plays all over the field. So Caden High is a young man that we're super excited about, as well as Tory Scoot Morrison. Mm -hmm. He played quarterback at Booker T. Washington down in Miami when they were really, really, really good. But he has transitioned to wide receiver. And he, uh, he played at uh, Tennessee State first, and then he transferred to Garden, Garden City. Uh, junior college, but we have him here now. He's playing mm -hmm. slot receiver for us, and he is he is really having a great camp as well. And, uh, you know, I tell you what, when you have guys like that on the perimeter that can stretch the field vertically and horizontally and make teams defend 53 and a third of the field wide mm -hmm. as far as well as 100 uh, yards long, I tell you what, you like your chances on the offensive side of the ball. So those are just some of the guys that have stood out for us on the offensive side. And then we have to start with the guys on the D-line. You know, you know, when you get to the defensive line, we got a young man that transferred to us from Erskine College. And you're talking about, his name is Marcellus Livingston. And he is a quick young man that plays a great job. He does a great job playing our three technique on the inside, and he's having a great camp. And we signed a freshman, freshman defensive lineman. He was defensive player of the year in the state of Georgia. And you're talking about Joshua Barker. Now, he's not tall in stature, but he's big in his play. He's had an amazing training camp. He is a football player. He's a power lifter, a champion in the state of Georgia, as well as a great student. He's got like a 3.8 GPA. 
and he's really been doing some really good things in training camp. Uh, so we're super excited about him as well. So, you know, overall, those guys on, on the defensive line are, have been the ones that really stood out more than anything and then, uh, you know, in terms of our defense. So we're, we're super excited about all those guys. But I would, I would be remiss if I don't talk about our kicking game. Okay. You know, we went out and signed two really, really good kickers, mm. or really three. You know, we signed a transfer kicker. They played at Mount Union, which is a Division Three powerhouse. You look at uh, Mount Union the last 10, 15 years, they pretty much been in the national championship game. His name is Tom Piccarillo. Okay. Uh, he'll be handling our place kicking duties, and, you know, he really he's really accurate, and he does a great job, but he also can punt as well. Then we signed a young man from Kennesaw State University. I tell you what, Charlie Cooper is his name. He really can place that ball, and he's really, really talented. And he, he comes from a program called Tucker High School in the state of Georgia in the metropolitan Atlanta high school um, area that, that he's very, very talented as well. And we sound a really good freshman. This freshman right here, I tell you what, he is he's a guy that can put the – he has strong uh, leg talent, and he can kick it wherever you want him to put it. But he is a young man that's had an amazing training camp. He played at, at McEachern High School. Mm. And, um, you know, he when he kicks off, the ball goes deep into the end zone. So mm. you're talking about some talented young men in our program that we're really excited about. So those are some of the newcomers that really stood out to us. And we're expecting them to have an amazing year here for the Tigers. Outstanding. I tell you, get, with all of that, we're expecting to see some great stuff this coming uh, Saturday over at Charlie W. Johnson Stadium for this uh, big classic that we're going to be playing. Uh, as you know, Benedict College has picked uh, to finish first in the SIAC in 2023. And that's the coaches poll right there. That's got to make you feel good to know that your, your colleagues think that highly of your team. Well, you know, we look at it like that. We're grateful for the, you know, mm -hmm. just people just knowing about our program. But we know that the, 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 it's on our back. They're, they're all, they're looking gunning as a motivation. You. They're gunning for us. We understand that. That's okay. We're not worried about that. <laughs> and we have a philosophy if we go by the top of one mountain is the bottom of another mountain. So keep climbing. Our young men know that 2022 is over. We had a great year, but we're so locked in on 2023. We're focused. It's not about pressure when you prepare. Mm -hmm. It's about preparation for us. And yeah. our young men have been preparing every day. And I, as a head football coach, I have to lead from the front. And our young men, they, matter of fact, we don't even talk about the championship in 2022 anymore. We're so locked in on 2023 because we know. Mm -hmm. We know what time it is. And we're going to be prepared you best trust and believe the Benedict Tigers will be prepared and ready to go when it's time for that ball to kick off at 6 o'clock in Charlie Johnson Stadium. All right, there it is. Benedict starts the season ranked 17th American Football Coaches Association preseason poll and 20th in the D2Football.com preseason poll. But, of course, the tail of the tape happens when that ball is kicked off on Saturday, all right? Listen, be right back with more of the Coach Chenis Berry Show and the Lexington Medical Center and also, of course, Founders... Let me get this right before we go to break. Founders Federal Credit Union. Whew. Back with more right after this. Your trip begins now. Your trip is your story. And all the best stories begin right here at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Whether you travel for business or pleasure, we design CAE to maximize your comfort. Maybe your trip is one of discovery, reunion, or time to close the deal. Wherever your trip ends, it all begins right here. The Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Fly with ease. The lottery is not about getting rich. The lottery is about helping people, and it always has been. It was the lottery that helped raise the Great Wall of China, maintain the roads of ancient Rome, and in this country, help fund a revolution against tyranny. And today, in South Carolina, the revolution continues. But we're not building walls or roads or bridges. We're investing in you. Want to learn more? Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you. Welcome back to the Coach Chenis Berry Show brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. I got to tell you, we got a lot of great sponsors that, yes. that want to be a part of this that's program. Right, right. You got Goodwill. You got the South Carolina Education Lottery. Mm -hmm. You also have a CAE, Columbia Metropolitan Airport, and they're going to be doing some great things at this game. Mm -hmm. You could be flying off somewhere, but you got to be at the game to find out more details about that. Or just keep watching the show. We'll get you squared away. All right, Coach, we got to talk about it. Got a big game coming up uh, this Saturday against Shaw. You say, uh, you say Shaw. Man, listen, You say man. Shaw, I say Shaw. It's Shaw, Shaw man. Shaw Bears. <laughs> tell, me, Shaw. tell me about the team. Tell you what, Shaw, good football team. You know, they, they had a 
you know, they didn't have a year that they wanted to have last year, but they, they were in every game. I think they ended up finishing four and six, but we don't look at it like that. That's a, that's a really good football team. They got some players that are coming back, led by their head football coach, Adrian Jones, one of my frat brothers, man. He does a great job with the program down there at Shaw. But when you're talking about a team that's coming in here, what fitting could it ever be? It's the Carolinas Classic. They're in Raleigh, North Carolina, mm -hmm. which is the capital of North Carolina, mm -hmm. and then we're – uh, Benedict College in the Columbia, South Carolina, which capital. is the capital city as well. <laughs> so it's the battle of the Carolinas Classic, man. We're super excited about, you know, getting ready to rock and roll. Our young men are chopping at the bit. We've been going against each other for, for several weeks in training camp. And so we're focusing. Our focus right now is locked on to Shaw. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shaw's returning most of their team from last season. Mm -hmm. uh, so we know what kind of team they're coming in. And they're coming in with one one goal in mind, and I'm sure they are. But we also have a goal in mind as well, and which is our goal every week. And when that game is over, is to be one and zero. So we'll be locked in, we'll be prepared and ready to go. But we have Shaw University coming into the jungle this upcoming Saturday at 6 p.m. Right. at Charlie Johnson State. Shaw picked to finish. <laughs> so I, I, you say Shaw, I say Shaw. They're, <laughs> they're picked to finish fourth overall in the CIAA. Mm -hmm. Not like that, but they got a strong kicking game, Coach. Mm -hmm. They do. They have some good kickers. They have a good kicker. I think he handles the cook kicking and punting duties. So they'll, they'll, they'll be ready. You know, I know Coach Jones is going to have his football team prepared and ready to go. And, uh, but the Benedict Tigers will be ready to go as well. Looking forward to it as well. Absolutely. We've got to get those tickets. All right, uh, Dennis, I know you off camera. How to get the tickets, Dennis? BenedictTickets.com. BenedictTickets.com. That's where you get those tickets. Parking, plenty of parking. You'll get to see the world-renowned Benedict College Tiger Marching Band of Distinction as BC, well. BOD! They do their thing. No <laughs> question about house. it. Absolutely. You notice I've been putting my hand up quite a bit. Uh -huh. It's a little heavy today. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, champions, coming back at you. Coach, I can't wait for Listen. another big season, and this is the start of it right here. Listen, we want to pack out Charlie Johnson Stadium. Listen, it's 11,000 seats. We want to pack it out. Why not? We have a product to sell. Come on out. The whole city of Columbia, the state of South Carolina, come out and watch the Benedict Tigers play. Our young men are very deserving of it. Our coaches are deserving of it. Come on out. Bring your families out. You know, you had the, the tailgates going on. You got the music. You got the band. You got a really good football team. You got a good program coming in from North Carolina. Why not? HBCU football at its finest. Right here, we put the BC and HBCU. So let's pack out the jungle in Charlie Johnson Stadium this upcoming Saturday. Let's get ready to get it. That's the way it is, Coach. We're talking about packing the Charlie W. Johnson mm -hmm. Stadium for the big classic coming up this weekend. Now, let me tell you about the promotion with the Columbia Metropolitan Airport, all right? All you have to do is sign up at each home game. All you do is go by their table over at CAE. They have, they're going to have a little table right there at the stadium. You sign up, and at each home game, there's going to be one lucky winner who's going to get a great, great bag, a gift bag, compliments of, of CAE. Now, out of those five winners, you're going to go into a drawing, and then you're going to be able to fly nonstop somewhere that of your choosing within the continental U.S., all right? So, which I think is pretty cool. Make sure you stop by CAE table and get all squared away. Coach, you fired up? I'm fired up. You ready man. to rock? Ready to rock and You're roll. You're ready to roll? Yeah, ready to rock and roll, right. man. Chop wood, carry wood. I'm still chop, carrying that over. Chop wood, over. carry water. That's what I said. Fall in love with the process of being great, man. It's a great day to be a tiger. Go Tigers. Arr.